Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new Aviation Jack video. I hope you're all doing really well. So, today we are in the PMDG 737-800, specifically the Fly Dubai livery, or airline. And we're going to take this aircraft from Shock Horror, Dubai. I'm going to go to Salala Airport in Oman. Um, this scenery has been gifted to me by the developers down at Simsoft. Um, it's a brand new scenery, the link will be in the description below. So um, we're going to fly there today, check it out, see what it's like. Um, the plan is to do a arrival into there and obviously a departure out there as well. And have a little look around the scenery. Um, yeah, link will be in the description below if you feel like picking it up. Um, but yeah, so nothing else to really say. We're standing on B20 here in Dubai, we are on VATSIM. Um, nothing around us, a few aircraft, no ATC as such. Got our jetway connected and everything like that. We're going to do our flight plan in Valanta and then see what kind of route we can expect today down to Salala Airport. So let's get straight into Valanta. So here we are in Valanta and we are today Sky Dubai uh, 22 Romeo. Yep, yeah, 22 Romeo as you can see here. Uh, we're departing on runway 30 white. <laughs> white? 30 right. And we're landing on uh, runway 25 on the Aston One Hotel arrival. Uh, cruising today at flight level 340. Flight time about 1 hour and 30 minutes long, which is quite good. And cost index says here 26. Um, so that's everything in Valanza. Total fuel 9341 kilos. I think it should be in pounds actually um, over here. I know it is in the States, but I'm not sure what it is in this region. Um, it's really saying Valanza. We'll get straight into the flight and get the FMC planned. Alright, so here we are in the flight deck. Let's get things loaded. So, battery can come on. And then we need to get the lovely ground power to come on as well. Ground service, request that ground power. And we'll get it going straight away. When we can. There we go. Ground power is on. Uh, we're going to do nav here. And uh, let's go left to right. Ground power is perfect. We'll do window heats. That's good. Emergency exit lights and seatbelts can come on. Cruising today, flight level 340. So we'll set that on the pressure. Pressurization panel. Kilt. Cool. That is good. Do you know what? We probably should get the APU started straight away just because it is so hot in Dubai. The passengers are going to have to have some aircon. Because I haven't connected the uh, start unit. Right, down here we'll go to 2000 on the squawk. And we'll set this to 122.8, which is Unicom. And we'll get everything loaded straight away. So, fuel. And this page can be the FMC position. Okay, so the amount of kilos we're taking today was 341. 9341. Pop that in there. And then. Oscar, Mike, Delta, Bravo, and that's in the init page, origin, destination is, is it OOSA, yes, Oscar, Oscar, Sierra Alpha, flight plan request, don't think I've got one, no, um, and do we have an EFB, yes we do, so request data from Simbrief, that's correct, and then, I don't know if we can actually do a flight plan request. Yes, yeah, Simbrief routes. So, set payload, set fuel, select route, and that should do it. Now we have an EFB, it works. There we go, load it in. Perfect. And then we're departing runway 30 right, so we'll pop that in there. Activate and execute. I would do the departure straight away, which is the Anvic 7 Foxtrot, which is here. Uh, execute that. And then we'll do the rest of our perf page. So, so if you're reserve 1, cost index, it was like 24, wasn't it? Uh, cruising 340. That's fine, leave us that. And we'll do our takeoff performance. So, performance tool. Runway 30 right. Uh, import from aircraft, import weather, and we'll calculate that. There we go. So we're going to be doing a flaps 5 departure, 49 degrees. Put that in first. There we go. And what's our D rates? 
uh, take off just normal take off which is fine flaps 5 pop our trim in and then all of our 144, 146, 150 which is exactly what it says there perfect and trim is 5.75 so we'll start setting that in perfect that's a trim set and that is the FMC done forgot to overhead panel everything looks good here we'll keep the APU in this position for now um, everything looks good, we'll set up our MCP while we're here so we'll set traffic now, we'll do the data uh, we'll leave the weather off for the time being flight direct to left, flight direct to right and we'll set this to 3-4 there we go, 3-4 and then we'll set our heading as well to 300 like, oh wait what am I doing? It's not three six zero. There we go. Three zero zero. Cool. And speed one fifty because that was our V two. V nav and L nav. Perfect. And that is a one. Right. That's everything really for us to do. Hectopascals one zero zero four is the Q and H. Okay. So let's request boarding through GSX. Oh, did we? I think we need to reload sim brief. I think I even done it. Oh, too late, whatever. Okay, do you know what? Don't worry about it then today. We'll just do it another time. Let's just get going straight away. So we'll do APU gens on. Turn all our fuel pumps on. There we go. Uh, these can stay off for now. Anti collision light can come on. APU bleed as well. And we'll just get a pushback and departure going. Might as well get this show on the road. Great. And I'm going to have a quick look at the charts as well, while GSX get their stuff sorted. I might have to release it myself. Oh, they are doing it themselves. Great. And the wheel chocks need to go. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Very misty day here today in Dubai. Loads of static aircraft, I think, over there. Definitely not on that sim with us. Yeah, oh, more static aircraft. Uh, we want nose. Oh, I don't know actually. What do we want? Oh, uh, nose right. I was going to show you more of the airport, but it's a really misty day. Oh, there's a TUI down there. They're definitely not static aircraft. I don't think TUI even flies to Dubai, do they? Hmm. It's quite nice. Static aircraft is quite good when it's not busy. But if it's busy, I'd definitely turn it off. Yeah. Right, let's go back down. There we go. Okay, we want nose right. Uh, there we go. So we'll set that. And we'll get those parking brakes released. Okay, parking brakes released. And we'll get the engine started as well. So, we want to start engine two first. I think I've done everything. If they start rising, then it's good. Yeah. Perfect. And 25. The bike traffic, Emirates 3 Romeo is on downwind for a 3 0 left. Why does GSX keep not doing the right thing lately? Is it a bug? 
Like, if I'm saying face right, why am I facing left? I don't know. Am I doing something wrong? It's really confusing. And annoying. Right, let's start engine one. Because now I have to do a Yui. And 6 so, GSX has basically done what it needs to do. So back in the flight deck we go and let's get everything else sorted out. Um, Gen 1 and Gen 2 can come on, APU can come off, these can be switched to continuous, Pro Pete's on, electrics, your damn packs back to uh, auto, I think you have auto, AP bleed off, her effect, and we want to set flaps five. So one, two, and five. Nice. Um, that looks good. Anything I'm forgetting? Yep, RTO. And I think they've disappeared. Cool. So we'll do all of our lights, and we'll also do a flight control check. So for now. Four left, four right, four up, and four down. Four right left, four right right, perfect. Oops. Okay, great. Let's spin around then. So, parking brakes need to be released. Are they on again? There we go, parking brakes released. And a bit of thrust, and we have to do a little Yui. Unfortunately. Shouldn't be too long until the immersion pack is released for um, the 737. And when it is released, I'll definitely get that. Make this plane a bit more realistic for once. Not basic. Okay, let's get going. See, there's two planes on the arrival right now. They've been talking on Unicorn for a while. Okay, so we are nearly at the runway now. So, landing lights on, strobe lights all soon to come on, and we're good. We'll do a quick ding dong to the cabin, let them know about to take off, and we'll take this left turn here, like so, and we'll get going straight away. Let's increase some thrust. Turn onto the runway like so. Let's set fifty percent. And we'll go toga. Perfect. And 
the start of the clock as well. Checked. Really bad visibility today. Rotate. Positive climb rate. Gear up. And now let's go command eh? Yeah, I can't see anything which is a shame. I was hoping to see some nice views on departure, not today. We'll go flaps two. And there's passing 5,000. And there's 6,000 as well. Speed is stable at 190, hasn't increased any more than that. Probably got speed restrictions out of here, yeah. So after 586, which is here, it goes up to 230 knots, so that's why speed's just a bit low. Go flaps up. There's a tower. Skyliner. Okay, everyone, so I'm going to leave it there until we get uh, to top of descent. The next time I'll check in with you guys. Um, so enjoy the rest of the flight and the cloudy views. Hopefully it's not that cloudy for the rest of the flight. Um, yeah, and I'll catch you all very soon.
hello everybody welcome back to the flight deck so we are 46 minutes into the flight and we're about 100 nautical miles away from top of descent so i thought now would be the perfect time to start planning the arrival into salala airports um so let's go down to the fmc you go to departure arrival uh, we are going to be landing on runway 25 so we're going to choose the ils 25 on the aston one hotel which is this arrival here I'll have a look at the transitions in a sec. I'm just going to get the rest of the bits and bobs done first. There's a disc on Unity there, so I'm just going to pop that in. And on the init ref, we'll pop that in there. So 143 plus 5 will be our final landing speed. Uh, the ILS frequency is 110.9, uh, so we'll set that in. 110.9. Oh, oh, I've done it wrong. 110.9, there we go. So we'll switch that when we need to. Um, and then the course is 250, so we'll set that in. That should be easier if I went this way. There we go. Course is 250, that's set in there. Decimal 90, there we go. Um, great, so that is everything we need to do for top of descent. We'll start reducing the um, altitude down to about 10,000 feet initially. Perfect, and that is that. We don't actually have much wind data coming out at the moment. It looks like we've got nothing at all, which is a bit rare. Um, but so far, the flight's going quite smoothly. Dubai Tower came on just as we departed. And uh, the tower very kindly let me know that I didn't fly the flight plan, which obviously I had forgotten. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the sun is setting a little bit now. It's a very nice flight though, very decent flight. It won't be too long now until we arrive into Salala. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello everyone, welcome back to the flight. So we're just passing 10,000 feet as you can see, so we're not long now until we reach Salala Airport. Um, all of the landing lights and takeoff and remote tunnel flights can be switched on. See what size I've put on already. Uh, we're going to do auto brake 2 for arrival. And now we are pretty much lined up with the runway. So it's just a descent slope from here. Uh, would descend to about 220 knots if we can. I'll put some spoilers out as well. It's quite a steep descent. Nice. There we are. So we'll start sending some flaps as well to help us out. So we'll set flaps one. There we go. And we'll set flaps two as well. And that will just help us with our speed. Perfect. Tiny bit turbulent. Not as cloudy as Dubai though, which is good. I actually see some ground today. Alright, good. I'm happy with where we're at right now. We need to be at 4,000 feet or above at... Uh, here, which is good. So 4,800 feet, and then it's quite a steep descent. So reduce our speed down to about 210, which we're already at. So we'll go flaps five, and now we'll go about 200. Spoilers can come in. Oh, 
take a little screenshot of that looks really nice I'm going to start opening up the um, landing uh, rate monitor as well. So not landing rate monitor, the flight recorder. So like, so a little replay of our flights now. Why not? But the diesel point is coming up just as we hit 4,800. About uh, eight nautical on it in about 10 nautical miles off the diesel. Start arming the approach as well. What a lovely arrival! Got a bit more cloud to go through first. They're approaching the clouds now. So minimums is three, two, eight. So that's when we're going to do a little continue call out. Everything okay, is done up here. Turn some lights on. There we are. Oh no, not that. See the other one. There we go. We're approaching 5,000, so we're going to reduce this down to about 3. 3,200 is our last um, restriction. Okay, so let's reduce our speed to about 180 for the time being. We are now in the cloud. I thought it would be less cloudy, but maybe not. There we go. Hear that speed coming back. Great. Uh, let's set flaps 10. There we are. Needs to be at 3,200 feet or above here. So not quite. Oh, yeah, there is quite a big bit of terrain here. Hopefully we don't go into it. <laughs> there we are. So we've got 3,200 or 3,000 now. Damn. We'll hold it here until the... Yeah, we'll hold it here until the ILS uh, comes in. Right, eight miles out. Let's go 160 knots, like so. We've captured the glide slope. So we're going to go uh, gear down and then flaps 15. There we go. So flaps 15 is set. Perfect.
Perfect. Okay, so I'm happy to go final land and speed now. So we'll do 142 plus 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. And we'll go flaps 40. And we'll arm the spoilers. Lovely. Right, we'll discount this part in a sec. Just gonna quickly move a few bits. Great, so let's get rid of the auto thrust first. One thousand. There we go. And we'll discount the autopilot. So I have control now. I just realised I hadn't even started the flight recorder. Record. No, we are. Right, let's try and get back on track there. Got a nice headwind, pretty much direct, about 15 knots. Floor hundred. Approaching minimum. Continue. Oh no, not yet. Three hundred. Minimum. Continue. Two hundred. And touchdown just in time there. Bit of a float. And we'll do the ground spoilers and reverses. Reverses green. Let's vacate to the right. And 60 knots, manual braking. Reverses stowed, we'll vacate to the right. Amazing. One hour, twenty nine minutes. So, One minute ahead of schedule there. So down a bit more. Spoilers in and flaps up as well. Perfect. And we'll bring in the landing lights and the runway turn of lights. Switch this back to off and start the APU. The terminal is over there. Uh, show bars can also come off. And we'll carry on taxiing. Welcome to Salala Airport, everybody. I'll get the landing rate really quick. The screen will freeze for a second. Landing rate was minus 105. 105. It was a bit of a float, though, but that would do. And let's 
get rid of that. Turn left in here. Lovely palm trees in the distance there. And let's choose a stand to go to. Um, choose one of these ones here with the jetway. Let's do. Should do one after this. Should be like ten or something like that. Uh, gate twelve left. There we are. Uh, no. Let's clean up the plane before we get on stand. We'll turn off the taxi light as well. There we go. We're gonna turn in here. bit more and stop parking brake set and we'll cut off the engines engine 1, engine 2 cut off like so anti collision light can come off the bleeds can come on Get some aircon on and let's request de boarding. De -boarding there we go, de boarding has been requested. Switch on a dome light so we can see a few things. Oh my god, where do I find the dome light on here again? Oh. Mm. Never fly a dark in this aircraft. I was like, where's it gone? Cool, and that's everything we can do. So, there we have it, everybody. Welcome to Salala Airport. Uh, this scenery was gifted to me by Simsoft developers. And you can take a look at the scenery on Sim Market as well, as you can see here, Salala Airport. Very nice approach, I have to say. Very nice approach. Lovely palm trees around here, at the front of the terminal. A few passenger buses, a few ground service equipments, nice parking, car park there. And there we have it. Here's the scenery. Very nice indeed. Very small airport, isn't it? I think this airport only really takes like a lot of um, short routes, like Muscat, Dubai, when I was having a look at it. I thought we'd do Dubai today. Haven't done it in a while, so yeah. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next one with our lovely purple passengers there. Um, we'll take this plane back to Dubai as well and have a look at this airport from departure. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next. Have a great day or evening. See you soon.